Welcome back, everybody. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, I know, he's still mayor, is on his way out, but he could enact more COVID mandates before he goes. The mayor now considering requiring booster shots for restaurants or concert venues. Listen. With all of our approaches to COVID, we're going to update them because we're dealing with some new challenges at this moment. So we're going to keep updating policies regularly to meet this challenge. <sighs> Our next guest has filed suit against these city mandates and displays a sign in her restaurant saying, we do not discriminate vaccinated or unvaccinated. Joining us now is the manager of Pastoricia, Raul Rocco in Brooklyn, Mary Josephine Generoso. Uh, Mary, thanks for joining us. What, what is your reaction to a possible booster mandate on top of the double vax mandate? Well, it's exactly the same reaction I had when he came out with the uh, initial vaccine mandate. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I think it's in infringing on our liberties. I mean, the mayor's asking store owners, business owners, restaurant owners to start policing people as they come into a restaurant to sit down. I mean, we have uh, basically mostly female employees working with us. Some of them are very young. Um, I, you know, initially I was just worried about having them to check vaccine uh, mandates and passports and whatnot when they were walking in, and now we have to make sure that they've had a booster shot. I think it's absolutely Absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. What has been the reaction to that sign going up in your window? I mean, I totally th sympathize it. I'd probably do the same thing, but I imagine people have to will crack down on you, right? Um, well, so far, I mean, by the grace of God, nothing's happened quite yet. Um, I don't know if it's the calm before the storm, so to speak. But, uh, Brian, it's not about, you know, the fines. It's not about somebody coming down on us. It's really about protecting people's uh, civil liberties. It's um, allowing people to come in and enjoy what New York has to offer, which is uh, restaurants. Um, that somebody should be able to come in, vaccinated or not, sit down, have a cup of coffee, enjoy time right. with their family. Um, it's not up to me. It's not up to my employees. It's not up to us for for to vac I'm sorry to be the vaccination police. I know we're seeing that over and over again. Uh, but I also see what these inspectors were like. They were a militant, storming into kitchens, trying to find out if there's someone without a mask on uh, as a prep cook. Uh, but real quick, you have also a sign. You have a couple of locations. The PPP loans were the ones that sustained you. Uh, you also say this, help wanted. Our Manhattan location is looking to full two full-time barista server positions. No vaccination required. Rockers is looking for motivated individuals who are hardworking and love working with the public. Please DM Rockers if you're interested. Let's try to get you some people to work. How frustrated are you? I mean, New York is, you know, with, with em employment itself, it's completely devastated. It's it's so hard to find anybody to work in the service industry right now. I mean, I I'm working 70 to 80 hours a week myself just to be able to sustain the business. Um, so, unfortunately, the mayor has been really destructive. He's called this yes. the, the key to unlock New York City. It's destructive. It's hard to find employees. Um, it's hard to find people to work. Now we're putting another thing over them that they need to be vaccinated in order to come in and, and get a job. If you're not vaccinated, you can't get unemployment. I mean, what kind of world do we live in? What city do we live in? This is supposed to be um, a loving city. We're supposed to take in everybody. We're not supposed to judge anybody. Yeah. And unfortunately, what's happening now is we're looking at people not as individuals. We're looking at them um, w as if they're, they're lepers of society if they're not vaccinated. Um, I mean, it's completely inhumane, and it goes way, way beyond just New York City, obviously. We see this happening throughout the world. And I really would would love to implore the mayor to really take a look at what he's doing because he's doing more right. harm than good as far I, as I'm concerned. The day he leaves, I think uh, America will just rejoice, but especially New Yorkers and business owners like you. <laughs> Mary Josephine Generoso, thanks so much. Appreciate how hard you're working. Hopefully this is just temporary. Thank you so much, Ryan. Go get him. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.